Aloha, dear sweet family of light. It's me, Lisa Trenton and Brown, and I brought you outside today to shoot a video. Isn't it magnificent? Yes, it is. So, I hope you can see me because I did my best to get some lighting out here, and I know it's a little bit dark. I'll move around everywhere I can. But there's a lot going on energetically uh, for everyone going through this period, this space, this time. Um, these frequencies, uh, these new dimensions, if you will, for everyone, um, those who are conscious and, and doing uh, their ascension uh, journey um, are having one experience. Uh, those who are not are having a completely different experience. Uh, those who embody uh, multidimensionality and higher self aspects are having a, another completely different experience. This is because we're running so many different timelines now. And it's really hard for me as I write for everyone to actually write uh, much anymore. Um, our job is to transform everything into light. And each dimension, each grid work of consciousness, each collective, um, is experiencing their own reality now. Um, each individual in their own place, their space. Now, the reason for this video will be many things, as y'all know. Those who know me know that I talk about everything that I can all round and round we go. Um, kind of the way it works uh, as multidimensional beings here uh, because we see from, we experience from so many different dimensions. Um, the more we expand, the more that we can see, the more the pieces of the puzzle, uh, the more energetically, uh, vision-wise, you, you can see everything. Um, you're no longer limited. Uh, that was human. Uh, that was our human aspect, um, uh, the part we believed and the part that we played in, um, which we all uh, do. Uh, as we transcend, it goes, uh, and we stop playing in the old programs. We stop playing in that world. Um, it's not fun anymore. There's no purpose anymore. We don't need it anymore. And we go on to become creators again. Um, we hook up uh, to a new collective, one that we created uh, and brought forth from within, a new earth. It is one of those, uh, which is absolutely magnificent when you allow it to be. Every once in a while, your humanness will creep up. Uh, you'll deal with it. You'll transcend it. You'll let it go. Uh, you'll unify inside to a new frequency. And um, something else will emerge. New memories of who you are. Now, remembering is a magnificent journey. Uh, one that's confusing from time to time. We remember so much. Um, as we share, sharing being the operative word, uh, the less you share, the less you get access to. It's one of the mechanisms, one of the key codes uh, that we built in place. Uh, the more you share, uh, this, the knowledge uh, that you have, the more knowledge you have access to, the more you can bring forth here. It is uh, the purpose uh, because it's up to us uh, to create, it's us to bring it forth. It's us to embody it. It's us to share it, to assist all others uh, who are ready as well. Uh, this video today, I am actually going to share with uh, one of my courses, the Multidimensional Mastery uh, course, but I'm also going to uh, put it out to everyone because there are things that are important for all of us, and this is one of those, which is physical ascension. Uh, which is what everybody is technically going through, whether they're conscious of it or not. Uh, many wake up uh, to a spiritual experience, a spiritual awakening, uh, the awakening process, um, and start to remember a little bit more. The outside world gets really confusing. It doesn't make sense. Uh, we question lack of integrity, uh, honor, um, and we start pointing the finger until we realize that that was our creation, we created that, and then we go inside, and we work through it all. Uh, we bring it from the inside out. And as we do this, we emerge, uh, our true essence, and who we truly are. Um, and we ascend in physical form. This is why the physical body, the emotions, everything is taking a beating uh, for the human aspect. Um, it's, it's because it's, it's physical ascension for all. 
Um, now, those that I work with um, are starting to remember as well. Um, it's confusing when we do that we're here to embody. We're here to embody light. We're here to embody all of our existences here in physical form. Now, this is a massive amount of light and pure being, purity. This is what's been streaming. The cosmic light frequencies that are activating are pure, pure light. And they, we are to be pure. We are to become who we've forgotten ourselves to be. This is coming back. Um, as a human, we're going towards something. Us, we're coming back. This is who we are. It emerges from within. The energy will activate. We'll have a memory. And then we go back to being human for a while. We expand and we contract. One of our multidimensional aspects is as an ascended master. And this is the part that uh, many of us uh, have a, a hard time with in the beginning. Um, when we ascend, as we ascend, there is no when, one point. It's always happening, always occurring. Um, but there are points along the way, spaces that we hit, um, vibrations that we're able to hold um, longer than others. Um, if we're not able to hold it, we'll go back into human. We'll have an actual experience to allow us to release something that was blocking us, um, that was inside of us, uh, that kept us maintaining. This is about maintaining a frequency, maintaining that space, holding it long enough for it to become ours. And, and it never goes again. Uh, as you ascend, there will become a time, there will come a time that you will fully remember yourself. You will hold that frequency as an ascended master here in physical form. Now, this is not from a place of ego. Uh, we couldn't care less. Uh, we don't cater to that. It's not that. This is us remembering us fully and becoming pure again. Uh, Multidimensional means there are many versions of us. One of them, the very smallest one, is human. Um, but we have to identify that which is w human within us so that we can transcend it and, and not be not be disempowered anymore. Being human is being disempowered. And every existence uh, that we hold is to become powerful again. We become gods again. We become Christ, Christed energy again. We become these things. Uh, they're not a thing that we visit from time to time that we, uh, we do along the way. Yes, uh, we have to. How are we supposed to remember? Uh, but each time we let go of the old ways, each time we recognize an old human program, an old cellular program, these are held in our cells. These are held in our physical body. And, and we have to release absolutely everything inside of us. The grid work that kept everything in place inside, the bones, the teeth, the muscles, uh, the human mind, the heart, all the, of these muscles. Um, this is the grid work. The structures are the bones and the teeth. You can actually look at these things and, and the releasing, de-densifying, letting go of the density. You name it, whatever word you want to use. Uh, words, uh, we use many of them to explain what doesn't make any sense to the human. Um, this is about embodiment. This is about holding. This is about becoming. This is about coming back, coming back to who you are, remembering fully um, who you've always been. Um, we let go of that individual I aspect of us. We become we. Uh, you hear me speak in we. I am we. Uh, full memory. We don't forget again. We will play um, in that illusion until we fully remember. Um, we create a new illusion. We activate a new hologram. The crystals inside of our body, we become crystal transmitters of an, a completely new hologram. We shape shift. Uh, holographically, I turn into different things. People see me. Uh, we glow, literally. Blue, purple, all different colors. When I am exposed to light, I look one way. When I'm in the dark, I look another way. Um, it is quite amazing uh, what we experience here. But the human mind can't 
comprehend the concept, uh, which is why we do what we do. We share. We, we activate the memories inside of you. Keys and codes, light codes, light frequencies, we transform all into light. Um, you are evolving. You are becoming your ascended master aspect in physical form. Um, you are becoming empowered again. You are becoming source. Um, no separation. And not a thing you visit from time to time. It is not a part-time job. This is everything that you have dedicated to you. You first. Um, you fully. And then as you do this, you are in service. As you sleep, you are in service. You're not lazy. You're embodying light. You integrate the higher light frequencies. You're bringing forth the lucid dream. You're bringing forth that which you've forgotten. You're working. Um, you will do many things that don't conform to human belief. Um, this journey isn't about being human. It's about transcending humanness. It is about merging all of our aspects into one here. Um, you walk as a hybrid of all of your beings. Um, you are multiple versions of many things. Uh, we've laughed recently because uh, it's our Sybil complex because we're all over the place. One moment we're one thing and then you don't remember that. Then you're another thing and you don't remember that. Um, it's kind of the point. Amnesia, yes. Uh, it is, there is an amnesia between the dimensions gravity goes we float inside at first full body we float um, then we anchor down and and we float from time to time every time you're shifting from one dimension to the next you float gravity goes it's cool your heart opens gravity goes you become more light light is lighter uh, than the old human density the physical body blows up photonic air um, there is a lot going on um, first uh, you want to let go of the old human mindsets of what things are. Um, recently, many have been thrown back into old realities, old versions, in order to clear. Um, a few days ago, um, absolutely, the we went through three days of darkness, if you will. Three days of separation from Source, from our light, in order to clear up a lot of the old dimensional versions of us. There was a lot going on. Each dimension has a different reality um, and we have to clear all of this up so we can move forward into and, and expand and to hold more light here. A um, few days ago, the absolutely longest day in the separation of time I have ever experienced here. We kept looking at each other going, is it still the same day? Seriously, this is a 26,000 year day. Uh, it, went, it never ended. Um, and we were cut off energetically uh, from source energy to see how much of source energy we held inside. Um, for those who have not connected inside, it was utter and complete chaos. We get to, we were able to observe all of the dimensions uh, from a space here and see it and not have to participate it in it anymore. We get to see the third dimensional consciousness and, and what they're going through. We get to see the fourth dimensional consciousness and the duality um, and the polarities. Um, and we get to see even the fifth dimensional consciousness and those who are expanding in light. And then we get to see the polarity uh, play out and the we won and the fight. And that's all the polarity. There is no winning. There's nothing to win here. Or there's no fight. There's no more battle. And uh, now I'm going to go into for a moment uh, about today is hugely powerful as well. Venus and Jupiter. Um, and everything is a metaphor. Everything has a purpose. Everything is a symbol of something. Everything occurs inside of us and then it occurs out there. And what we do is we pay attention to everything and we realize we go inward to figure out what it means. Um, the rapture, and I spoke about this uh, recently um, in many other places and other videos that I haven't yet put out. Um, I've got a helicopter, so I apologize for the sound and the noise. The third dimensional word is rapture. The fifth dimensional word is ascension. 
2012 opened up the gateways and, and it started for everyone. Now, everyone has a seven-year cycle, and I don't do the separation of time. But for the sake of explanation, I have to because of all of the timelines that we're running right now. Now, from the moment you fully start this journey intentionally um, and wake up and start working, um, and some of us not so consciously, but we are doing the journey and we don't understand it at the time. Um, and we start a seven-year cycle, which is the tribulation. The rapture began fully uh, for everyone when 2012 activated, um, which is ascension for those of us that started on the journey consciously and, and opened up to embodiment of light. Um, those who are playing in a third dimensional consciousness um, and pointing the finger and participating and feeding their energy into that um, are going through a physical rapture in the outside world. Um, and you can watch it play out. Um, you can watch um, the, the devastation as it occurs. And you can see things for what they truly are. You can also realize uh, that you don't have to be a part of that and you don't have to have that experience that as you hold light you ascend in physical form and your journey is one of light it's beautiful it's magnificent and you let the old stuff go your experiences change your physical realities change those you interact with change um, as you master your own energy and this is about you this is about what you're doing that outside world is, is a hologram that is solidified by you. That hologram is a representative of the collective consciousness grid that you hold inside your physical body. As you upgrade in light, crystals are activated in your physical form. You become a walking transmitter. The crystals inside of you, there is absolutely so much going on um, inside. And outside changes in response to that, the old carbon-based humans that we all started as did not have these capabilities. And as we wake up, we start searching for gifts. Gifts are a human uh, word. Um, it's what we seek in order to become who we are again. It is not a gift to be who we are. Uh, we transmit everything. We connect with everything energetically. It's an energetic communication. It's an energetic transmission. It's an energetic um, telepathy, our energetic communication. Uh, 360 degree range. Um, we communicate with all things at once. There's no separation anymore. You become a master of your universe. You connect with everything as a master again. You take responsibility for what's yours. You focus on that, you focus your transmission, you change your transmission from fear, judgment, lack, blame, shame into one of love. And when you do, uh, your world changes to become loving and beautiful too. You come to love yourself, you let go of all the stuff that held you back. You have to expand your mind beyond your current limits. And, and a big thing lately is we can see all the boxes inside the human mind and the limits Wow, absolutely unbelievable how many boxes that the human lives in and the words, oh no, it can't be that way, it has to be this one. And, and just astonishing um, is all we've got to say. Now, as you let go, as you go inward, as you allow yourself to sleep, as you embrace yourself as love, you do this for everybody and everything. You transmit as a part of the grid work of New Earth and beyond, because we've gone so far beyond that too. Now, your physical realities do change. Uh, the limits are released. Someone playing in a third dimensional consciousness cannot have the same experience as someone in a fifth dimensional higher consciousness. We've left the fifth dimension. We're in the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, you name it. We've gone beyond there. Um, you're as limited as you believe you are. You are as limited as you participate in. You are as limited as you choose to be in in any given moment. Um, love, this is who you are. Pure, this is who you are. Impurities is what you're transcending. This is what these purification energies are doing. They're pushing it out of you. 
Everything impure within you has got to go. You can't hold on to it. There's no more physical pain here. There's no dishonesty. There's no lack. There's, there's none of that. It does not exist. It was inside. We go inside and we let it go. There are many ways to explain this journey. There are many truths. The biggest truth is that you are completely and utterly a magnificent being of light and love. You are unlimited. You are a master. You are the universe. You are a cosmic being. You are galactic. You are Lemurian. You are all of these things. You are purifying so that you can walk here pure. You can walk here as an ascended being in the physical as light that you radiate from the inside out, never disempowered again. That was a human belief. We are transcending. We do transcend all of these old beliefs. We become this again. You come back. Come back. Come back inside. Pull away. You do not become a master creator. You do not become who you truly are again and play in the outside world and the old illusion and support the old programs. You pull every part of you out of that. You pull away. You go inside. You build your power. You build your strength. You build your abundance. You bring it from the inside out. You become abundant. You become love. You become a light transmitter. You become a crystal being. You become everything. Physically, not an etheric thing anymore. It's real. Hold your arm up in the sun. You look at the crystals under your skin. You have x-ray vision now. Those gamma radiation blasts that are occurring give you new vision. You can see. Your mind is what limits you. These frequencies activate in needles is what they feel like. Your star particles, they itch under your skin. Many things, the crystals, your hands, your feet, will, your joints, um, your face, around your eyes will uh, break out. It burns, it itches, it swells, it hurts. Those are crystals. They're under your skin. It's not a disease. Uh, that's a human belief. So... Everything that you've labeled as human in your world, every, a lot of people are seeking diagnoses for going crystalline. They're looking for what's wrong with them, trying to fix it. There's nothing wrong with us. That's a human belief. Um, we don't interfere in the process. We assist it. We embrace it. We bring it from the inside out. We nurture it. We love ourselves. We give ourselves what we need. We don't compromise anymore. Your physical body will store compromise and it will start to fight back. Uh, there are so many things that occur on this journey and there's absolutely no way for me to include them in this. But uh, all of the telesummits that I do, all of the videos that I do, all the writings that I do and have been doing for years uh, and the books that I wrote and the ones coming forth one day, uh, it's all in there. I have people contact me uh, repeatedly wanting tools. They're in the book. Um, navigating Dimensions, an entire book of tools. That's what it is. Um, and everything else. Everything is a tool when you stop and look at it. Every moment is. Every exchange has a purpose. Everything does. Uh, the question is, are you present? Are you aware? Are you conscious? Are you choosing? Are you stepping away? Are you going inside? Are you seeing it for what it is? And are you letting go of the judgment? Are you participating in the old programs? that's coming from inside your body, your liver, your organs, your ovaries, your spleen, your, your throat chakra. You have to learn to speak again. Um, communication is the bridge between the worlds, your physical body, the lower realms, the higher realms. You name it, there's a whole different reality um, than the one you believed there was. Um, you either get to embrace it and embody it, or you remain victim to it and that's just an energy too and you, we we all clear that energy um along the way and i was talking to somebody earlier in, in in session and we were talking about the fact that we call it forth call it forth call forth the amazingness call forth the abundance call forth everything you desire here call it forth you have the power but you got to stay open you got to see it when it comes you got to embrace it 
you cannot succumb to fear. If you do, you'll you'll go around in that loop again of having an experience that you need in order to burn off some old energy so that you could shift and your heart can open. Everything will occur to get your heart open. At first, it's a lot of pain. Uh, energetically, it's old beliefs, it's old programs. Um, and then you cry at a butterfly and you cry at the beauty and the exquisiteness and a flower it blooms and you cry, it's beautiful, it's magnificent. Something's gonna open your heart. Um, you call forth every experience here to show you who you are. You call forth every experience here to open you up. You call forth every experience here to bring out what you couldn't see. You call it forth, unconsciously or consciously. Those of us that are conscious and remembering, we call forth the amazing things. We embrace them, we open up, we realize, wow, I did that, I called it forth to me. And then you take it and you use it for your journey and assisting others too. You open up, you share, you become a light, a transmitter, a lighthouse, a crystal transmitter of the new hologram, whatever words you want to use, the hologram is yours. Um, and it will change very fast when you embrace your own power again. As you embrace your power, as you let go of the old mentalities and limits, um, you emerge from within. So, physical ascension. If you're conscious, if you're doing the journey, if you are remembering from within, you are physically ascending. You are becoming multiple versions, which is why it's all over the place for a while and very confusing and bizarre is an understatement. Um, when you start accessing all of your memories, those are not dreams. Those are other dimensions. Uh, we use the dream state, the sleep state to clear. We use it to see. We use it to expand. We will actually go to sleep intentionally. We will use the sleep state because the human mind shuts down and gets out of the way. The human body relaxes. Those muscles are your grid work. Those muscles hold the quantum field in place. Um, the unified field is your heart fully open, no more barriers. You completely connected. Your solar plexus expands. It becomes who you are. You become the solar sun again. You need sunshine. You have to upgrade in light. Um, everything uh, that we created ourselves to be told to tell us not to do, it's the opposite here. So you're going to have to decide, you're going to have to choose uh, what you want to listen to. Do you want to listen to the human mentalities, the limited ones that keep you in a place of fear and blame and shame and guilt and in prison? Or do you want to let go? Do you want to believe something that frees you? Do you want to create something that frees you? Or do you want to keep spinning around in a circle and burning off old energy? It's your choice. Uh, the dimension you live in is your choice. And powerful is an understatement. We hold an immense amount of power. We obliterate the old realities. Uh, we're not victims here. Uh, we never were. Uh, that was human. And so you come to understand how much power you have again embodiment of the higher realms, embodiment of multiple dimensions, embodiment means you hold that frequency here and you don't compromise anymore, you don't go back and play in the old consciousness grid words of the lower realms, you don't, um, it's your choice and it's your reality and that physical reality changes as you shift, as you open your heart and you let go of the walls and the barriers that you held in place in your human mind and all the boxes you tried to fit everything into so that you could have it your way. It doesn't happen that way. Um, your reality, your purposes, um, your realities, plural, because there are so many, uh, will not conform to anything you thought um, your existence was going to be. You cannot even comprehend uh, what's coming forth for you. It's beyond brilliant and magnificent. We created such a brilliant um, thing here uh, and there is absolutely no way to uh, put it all into words because technically that's a human thing too. We don't need words for this. Uh, silent space, inner voice, inner communication, inner vision, inner seeing, inner awareness, all of that. That's where you go. You go inside. If you really want to find you, if you want to hear the truth, if you want to, you use the inner senses. You use all of your senses. You feel. 
You feel, feel, do this. Open your heart. Open your heart. You can feel it close down. It's a practice. You do it. Open. Expand. Expand your light. Bring it from the inside out. Contract. You're small. You're human. Expand. You do it. You have the capabilities to do anything you want. And embodiment, that is what you are here for. Amongst many, 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 many things, you do not have one purpose. You have many, and absolutely everything is the purpose. And we have reached a pivotal time. We now, um, in one collective, um, move into the second, uh, the next phase of a seven-year cycle. Um, a lot of people are clearing that this month. Month, they're moving through that. It's done. Um, for me, the seven-year cycle ended this month. I've been ending it every day. Um, because, um, but technically, it's, it's done. Uh, we've we've done it, and um, physical ascension um, two years ago. Um, but we don't comprehend that's what's going on. So you want to pay attention to what's going on in your world and actually look at it with through different eyes. Um, actually look at things. Uh, see what you could not see before. This is seeing what what is not visible. Um, it's your journey. Uh, physical ascension uh, and for those who do not um, choose physical ascension will ascend in spirit form uh, but if you're on the journey if you're doing it you're physically ascended technically you've already ascended you're embodying the version of you that already has um, you have the capability now everything impure is uh, coming up and out it's leaving the body it goes mm, so let it go embrace who you are um, as a master being, as a sovereign being, as a multidimensional being, as a galactic being, as a Lemurian being, let go of your old reptilian you. Let go of your old Atlantean you. The manipulation, the greed, that all goes too. You don't need it anymore. There's no competition here. Nobody's one-upping anybody. Um, we're together. It's us. We. Again. We. This is us. As one. Um, so, play with your words. Transform everything to light. See how long you can hold the frequency of love. See how long it takes you to become it all again. Because that's what everyone is doing. All of us here. Mahalo. I love you. I am utterly grateful and in gratitude in every moment for our experiences here. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love you. And enjoy Kauai and the magnificent view. Thank you um, for your dedication to your own journey here because that's what we all have to do. And as you do, you come together with every one of us, all of us here, too. I love you. Mahalo.